Hello and welcome back to my channel Kanya Art and Craft. This is Tebu Priya and by now you might have guessed what our today's video is all about. Yes, it's a jewelry video again. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I'm taking molded clay, applying some talcum powder on my palm. Now, taking equal portion of craisin base and hardener, mixing them together and our clay is ready to use. Taking a piece of hard paper, drawing a half circle pattern on it, cutting the paper according to the pattern. Now rolling the clay to create a cylindrical shape, applying glue on the piece of paper and placing the clay following the pattern. Press and spread the clay on the pattern using fingertips to create a uniform surface, using some talcum powder to give smooth finish on the surface. Making holes with the back end of a brush. Now taking another piece of clay and creating a rectangular shape. Making four small holes on the rectangular piece with the same brush and using different technique to create two more rectangular piece. Taking another piece of clay, making a cone kind of shape, press using scale to flatten and then give it a triangular shape. All the pieces are dried up now and ready for painting. Applying yellow color on the background. Applying red color on the border. Painting some floral design on the small pieces. Applying red color on the fish. So basically the color theme you can choose according to your preference. Here I have kept uh, red and yellow as the base color and I'm also using some green, some black and white to enhance the design. This design is inspired from Madhubani painting. If you like watching this video then please give it a thumbs up do share this with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe kanya art and craft Applying red color on few wooden beads to match with the design. Applying varnish on jewelry pieces. Now it's time for assembling all the pieces together. Here I have taken one cotton thread with a needle. I'm adding two quarry shell and a wooden bead that I have painted in red and then attaching another piece of clay jewelry. Again following the same process, adding two quarry shell and then a wooden bead and adding another piece of clay jewelry. You need to follow the same sequence. Here I have taken a ready-made cotton dory. This dory was attached to one of my old jewellery so thought of using it here.
now let's start with our second project. So here I have taken one cardboard and cutting it into half circle. Applying glue on one side and placing it over a fabric that was left out from one of my kurti. Cutting extra fabric. Now cutting slits on the circular part and sticking them to the board. Applying glue on the center of the design and placing a mirror. Um, this piece is from an old jewelry which I don't use anymore. So thought of using this old piece of jewelry, I can recreate something new which I can at least use. So let's see how does it turn up. I have placed few mirrors on the corners and now framing those mirrors using 3D outliner of different shades to give it a vibrant look. Placing this small pom pom lace around this half circle using glue gun. Wow, this looks gorgeous already. Let's see how does it look after fixing this broken piece of jewelry. For the dory, I have taken few strands of cotton thread and few metal beads. Now sticking them on the back side of the pendant using glue. Attaching two pieces of fabric to secure the thread properly. I think it has turned up the way I had planned off and looks amazing. You can pair this up with any of your kurti, sari and any Indo-Western outfit and trust me, you won't regret it. Now let's move on to the third project. So here I have taken an aluminum foil sheet, cutting 2 inch long strip, crushing it and making a ball out of it. So you need to make approximate 30 to 40 balls like this. It depends on the length of the neck piece. Taking a red cotton fabric, uh, the length should be approximate 10 inch. Now I'm marking 2 and half inch and cutting it following the line. Applying glue on one side, then fold the fabric twice to stick it. Putting this ball inside the fabric pocket like this. Now start tying using a cotton thread. Cutting a round shape from a cardboard, applying some glue and sticking it to a red fabric. Attaching this four ball dory on the back side of this cardboard like this. And then I will secure this on the back side using a round shape cotton fabric. Sticking this ikat fabric on the top, taking a big size mirror and sticking the pom pom lace around this. Now sticking them on the center of the pendant. Now I am adding few cori shells using glue gun. Applying some glue in between this dory to stick them together and give it a shape. Again taking two pieces of fabric, applying glue on one side and rolling it twice to stick. Now sticking them on the edge of the jewelry like this using glue. So basically we are creating an arrangement for tying this jewelry from the back. 
sticking this pom pom lace around the pantaloon. Okay, that's it for today. Hope this video will help you to recreate something similar to this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.